We start with a friendly reminder that clocks will turn back one hour tomorrow night as daylight saving time comes to an end. And with the time change comes the great debate, should the time change be a thing of the past? Well, it's been a hot topic for years. And tonight we hear from you at home on what you would like to see happen. My Witness News' Cody Bailey joins us now with some local reaction. Cody? Brad, Jessica, while many admit they enjoy the extra hour of sleep that comes with falling back, they also dread those 4.30 sunsets. Now, whether you would rather fall back, spring forward, or keep everything as is, one thing is certain, almost everyone has a stance on the daylight debate. I think I'd rather spring forward and then stay there. It's a simple solution for Henderson resident Reese O'Nan. Stay on daylight time year-round. Um, I think that it makes life easier. I know that, you know, switching shifts for some shift workers is difficult, uh, and it's just better overall. I mean, it allows my body to stay on one schedule. Well, I would prefer more light on the back end of the day. Like Onan, Annalisa Thuis enjoys the later sunsets that come with daylight time. But for Thuis, co-owner of the Antler Coffee Shop in downtown Henderson, the business aspect complicates this debate. So we open really early. And so when it's dark out, that customer basis begins later than it does in the summer. So from a business standpoint, I'm like, oh yeah, bring the light on the front end of the day. But also from a personal standpoint, when we leave work at 3.30 and you have 45 minutes until the sun is like noticeably starting to descend, that's a little bit discouraging. Thuis calls the business impact visible. And in the summers, we open at 7, service begins at 7. Whereas in the winters, we have about like an hour and a half to two hours until people start really like coming back out into the world. Earlier this year, some U.S. politicians proposed making daylight time permanent, meaning clocks would spring forward and never change again. Others, like the American Academy of sleep medicine want to make standard time permanent, sleep experts with the University of Michigan agree. The reason is that internal clock, that circadian rhythm, it's longer than 24 hours, so it's easier for us to stay up late and sleep in. But what keeps us aligned to the 24-hour day, wakes us up in the morning, is getting morning sunlight. But with two young children, Onan says the benefit of falling back does not apply. It'll wake them up earlier, so as a parent, I don't get it. You know what I mean? And we wanted to hear your thoughts on Daylight Saving Time as well. Earlier today, we posted a poll on our X page, of course, formerly known as Twitter, and asked our viewers if you want to stay the same, if you would rather stay on Daylight Time or switch to Standard Time. Right now, we've got 51% saying they would like to stay on Daylight Time, around 38% saying stay on Standard, and just over 10% of you would like to continue to switch back and forth.